Hi, today is the first day of Lent and this is the first video that I'm posting in a series of videos that I'll do each week throughout Lent where I'll read a different excerpt from my book and discuss the theme within it. And it's all going to roll up to the bigger, larger theme within the book, which is essentially getting back to your true self. So I'm going to start with an excerpt from the book that really speaks to that and will kind of set the tone for um, all the excerpts we'll be looking at throughout Lent. This book is ultimately about truth. Not so much being truthful with others, but being truthful with ourselves. I think that's the hardest form of truth, to recognize and then acknowledge things about ourselves or our lives that are oftentimes easier to shove down deep inside. We all have truths like this. They reside in secret places within us. We don't talk about them with each other because we keep them hidden even from ourselves most of the time. What do I mean by our truths? They are the thoughts we immediately push away, the questions we have but never ask, the things we want but don't fight for. They are the potential we aren't reaching, the feelings we aren't truly experiencing, and the person we really are, but lost sight of. They are usually buried under expectations we didn't set for ourselves and things we do even though we don't know why. They are buried under fear. So week one, our theme is removing distractions so that we can find time to self-reflect, which is essentially what I did during Lent in 2017 without even really realizing it. And I'm just such a big believer in this because if you think about it, Life is so busy these days. We are interrupted by text messages, email alerts, snaps, tweets, pokes, if that's even still a thing, I don't know. But it's hard enough to even just focus on one thing, let alone spend some quiet time and focus on nothing. And I truly believe that it is in those quiet, unplugged moments with ourselves where we can reconnect and really check in and make sure that we are living the life that we really want to be living. Really, when we don't do that, that's when we can end up disconnected from ourselves because we aren't hanging out with ourselves. And once we're disconnected and we're not really spending that time listening to ourselves and how we're feeling and what we're thinking, we can lose sight of what we really want out of life and what really makes us happy. So if you are feeling any level of disconnect from your life and maybe it is feeling like you should be doing something different or doing something more or maybe it is just this underlying feeling of blah like I felt then I think it's time to intentionally spend some time alone with yourself just thinking just tell yourself the things that you are scared to tell anyone else listen to yourself without any judgment pretty much hang out with yourself like you would a best friend. And that can look different for everybody. For me, it was giving up several things for the entirety of Lent, um, but maybe for you, it is just finding 20 to 30 minutes in the beginning of the day or at the end of the day to unplug, sit quiet, no phone, no TV, no one else, and just think. I'm not saying that you have to meditate. That's very hard. I'm not good at meditating either, but just think through your life and, and pay attention to how you feel and where you're going and where you want to be going and how you got there. And I just really think that that level of self-reflection can bring a lot of clarity because you have to acknowledge and understand why you're maybe feeling disconnected before you can do anything about it. So I'll end with an excerpt from the book. Yes, I gave up a bunch of stuff for Lent, and you'll see how I was tested on it a bit throughout the 40-ish days. But what really happened is so much bigger. Each of those Lenten sacrifices were really just distractions taking up space. They very successfully kept my mind focused outward. When I removed them, despite it being a trivial decision at the time, I created space for my truths to surface, to raise their hands and beg to be seen. In the absence of all that external stuff to focus on, my attention went inward, and so began a big change of direction in my life, what feels like a new beginning. So maybe this week, spend some time thinking about what is it in your life that is distracting you or preventing you from spending some time in self-reflection? Are you always on your phone, on social media, watching TV? Do you always feel like you have to have somebody with you and talking to you? And maybe you aren't at a point where you're ready to give up those things yet, and that's fine. But even awareness of them is a step in the right direction. And if you are ready to remove some of them from your life, wonderful. Um, I will warn you that it's not going to be easy, but I can promise you that it's worth it.